Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the process of focusing light through refraction and how this occurs in the eye. We're going to talk about the conditions under which refraction occurs, how refraction occurs through a lens, and the different refractive media of the eye. Uh, so firstly, refraction is a process where light bends as it enters a uh, medium that is more or less optically dense than the one that it was already in. Uh, so this is why we see these uh, the apparent depth. Um, so this pipe is actually straight, but it appears that it's bending. And you might have seen this with a straw in a glass of water, that it looks like it's bending when you look at it from the top, um, or things look, uh, d generally looking into water, it looks more shallow. This is because the water is more optically dense. So what's happening is the light is coming from the sun, it's hitting the rocks at the bottom of the water here, and reflecting, or um, now it's in that optically dense water, that water, light's reflecting from the rocks, going through that optically dense water, it's then bending as it comes out of the water into the less optically dense air, and then hits our eyes. Uh, so, this is what's happening, we've got the light coming in, hitting the object, so we've got our ray coming up out of the water, and because the light, uh, the water is more optically dense than the air, it bends, we say, away from the normal. So you can see that this angle here is smaller than this angle here. So air is less optically dense, uh, water more optically dense, so it bends away from the normal. Uh, this is called the incident ray, and this is called the refracted ray, the incident angle, refracted angle. We don't really need to know that for biology and eyes, we just need to know that this process occurs. Um, now, when I talk about the normal, that is an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the surface uh, of that the exchange is happening, so the, between, the surface between the two mediums. So you can see that it's 90 degrees there. And that's fine for this one, because this one's flat, but we'll see what happens if you have that surface curved in a second. Now you might be thinking, but that's actually bending the opposite way to the way that that, um, let me go back, the way that that pole actually appears. The reason for that is because your eyes aren't used to seeing light bend, so even though as that light's bending down, uh, it's, your eye perceives it as bending upwards and being more shallow than it is. And now the opposite is true, that when light moves into a medium that's more optically dense, it slows down and bends towards the normal. So as light comes in uh, from air, for example, into water, it's going to bend towards the normal, exact opposite. A lens is a optically, usually optically dense medium that has curved sides. So you can see these sides are curved. And we're going to concentrate on this one, which is called the convex lens. Technically, this is a biconvex lens because it's got a convex side on this side and a convex side on this side. The reason we're going to concentrate on this is because this is the shape of the lens that is in our eye. Uh, so the same thing occurs here. We have refraction uh, that, as it goes into something more optically dense, bends towards the normal. Less optically dense bends away from the normal. So you see that this angle is bigger than this one. This angle is smaller than this one. But because of these curved sides, the normal is actually changing in direction. So that means that lines that started coming in parallel, when they come out, are no longer parallel. In fact, those lines converge and touch at a spot called the focal point. You can see the focal point of these lines here. Um, the focal length is the distance from the focal point to the center of the lens, okay, and that's measured up here. Now the more convex a lens is, so the fatter that it comes out, the shorter that focal length is going to be. So for this one, the focal length's there. If we had a lens that came out like this, the focal length would be shorter. And if that lens was thinner, the focal length would be longer out here. Now this is important because the lens in our eye actually changes shape or changes its amount of convexive, that's not a word, um, how, it changes how convex it is, so it becomes fat and becomes thin. Uh, so that changes how the refraction occurs. So when light comes into the eyes, uh, it comes through the air that's outside of the eye, then it hits the cornea, then through the aqueous humor, the lens, then the vitreous humor. 
Now, each of these has a different refractive index. And the, so refractive index is how optically dense a particular medium is. Uh, and they're going to have more bending the more optically dense it is. Uh, so, or the more different the two mediums are. So the most refraction, the most focusing, actually occurs between the air and the cornea. So that first step. So on this line here, on the outside of the cornea, we have the most bending. Uh, this is because the refractive index of the air is much lower than the refractive index of the cornea. As it emerges, the light emerges from the cornea, we have another um, surface here between the cornea and the aqueous humor. Now the aqueous humor is less optically dense, uh, but the difference is nowhere as near um, as much as from the air to the cornea. We then have a more optically dense lens going into the less optically dense vitreous humor. Uh, so although the cornea does most of the refraction and most of the focusing, the important thing here is the lens because it has the ability to change shape and therefore change where the focus is prior to that light hitting the retina at the back of the eye. In this video, we've talked about refraction being the process where light bends as it enters a more optically dense or less optically dense medium. Uh, we've talked about refraction through a lens, and in particular a convex lens, causing the parallel or once parallel lines to converge as they emerge. Um, and we've talked about the different refractive media of the eye, each with its own refractive index or level of refractive density, uh, going from the air to the cornea to the aqueous humor, the lens, the vitreous humor before it hits the retina. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.